Former Supreme Court Judge B. Sudarshan Reddy was sworn in as the first Lokayukta of Goa by Governor Bharat Veer Vanchu at Raj Bhavan on Saturday, but the absence of several MLAs from the opposition as well as from the ruling side gave the ceremony a strange twist. The state cabinet earlier this week had approved the appointment of Justice Retired Reddy as Lokayukta for Goa, the first one to hold the charge after Goa Lokayukta Bill was passed on the floor of the House. Mr. Reddy will choose his own staff, which will be taken on deputation from the government services. The Lokayukta is expected to function from his office within three weeks. Several MLAs were conspicuously absent from the swearing in ceremony. I, I, Sudarshan Reddy, Having been appointed as the Loka Youth under the Goa Loka Youth Act 2011. Having been appointed as the Loka Youth under the Goa Loka Youth Act 2011, do hereby swear in the name of God. Do hereby swear in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. And that I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. And that I will duly and faithfully to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. After a period of 19 years, I do not know any single individual. I have met the Honorable Governor and the Honorable Chief Minister for the first time right in your presence. I shall, to the best of my ability, try to serve the people of Goa through the judicial process for which I have spent 42 years of my life. Without any ill will or without any affection, of course without any fear. For the present, I shall start actually discharging my duties after a couple of weeks because there are certain things I have to tie up, including my staff, my office, etc. Once I settle down in the office, I would call each one of you and all of you together for a discussion and I will hold a press conference for the present. Chief Minister Manohar Parikar asserted that amendments to the Goa Loka Yukta Bill 2013 had not come to force. Mr. Parikar said that the bill was similar to that of Karnataka Loka Yukta Bill. Why are you worried? No, no, you had told us, the media, one power, that you would have uh, seen uh, I mean, this now, as of now, the budget, yes, amendment has not come into force. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So you have a window of complaints without getting punished. How many days window? How many days window? Okay. You will have to ask. Me. They were invited. Were indicated in the there were speculations. In there were speculations that uh, the opposition leader's name has been indicated in various corrupt cases. Meanwhile, various social activists and Congress MLAs opposed the swearing-in of Mr. Reddy as Goa Loka Yukta by showing black flags to the commuters heading for the swearing-in ceremony. We had requested the governor of Goa yesterday not to swear in Sudarshan Reddy as the Loka Yukta of Goa. Now that the governor has decided to swear him, today is day one of the agitation. This agitation will not stop until we have a Lok Ayukta, who is a non-partisan one, who is also selected in a very transparent way. And that is what we have been saying from day one. The Advocate General of Goa could not have selected the Lok Ayukta. In fact, the government of Goa should have written to the Chief Justice of India and the Chief Justices of other high courts, asking them to recommend names. But this, the Chief Minister of Goa, Mr. Manohar Parekar, did not do because he was interested in a yes-man, Loka Yukta. Sudarshan Reddy has arrived yesterday and he travelled by business class when the Prime Minister of India himself is travelling economy class. Sudarshan Reddy has travelled yesterday 
by business class to Goa. And the government of Goa has decided that he should stay in a five-star hotel at Vivanta. Despite the government having so much government accommodation, he has been a burden, financial burden to the government of Goa on the first day itself. We will ensure that this agitation goes to a logical conclusion till Mr. Sudarshan Reddy goes back to where he has come back, back to Hyderabad, because we need a sturdy Lokayukta, a Lokayukta who is not politically manipulated.